Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this section of the course, we're going to link the working capital items from the working capital schedule. So we are going to start by linking changes in trade receivables. So to link that, we have to, you have to use this formula. So you press the equal sign to initiate the formula, you press the negative sign, and then you open bracket, and then you go back to so here what we have to do we come back here and here this is 2023 so we take this figure here we subtract the 2022 figure so we want to see the change so we press ok so let's just press ok and then press in and, and copy the formula to the right so we will do that for all current assets so here we do the same here and then we come back to we come back here 2023 and then we subtract this figure here and that will give us this and then we copy that to the right and here for trade payables we don't put the negative sign we just put the open brackets here and then we scroll down to the working capital schedule and then here we subtract this figure here like this and then we copy that to the right so that gives us our changes in working capital items so one thing that you have to note is these uh, changes in working capital items here you see that this is 23 17 they've been turned so let's just compare with the ones in the operating working capital search so as you can see here this is this have been turned uh to be negative but that's the same thing so this is it guys so in the next section now we need to work so i think we need to work on the balance sheet so we will we'll finish off with the interest expense interest income and the long-term debt and short-term debt so is for now let's just focus building our balance sheet so we're going to complete this after we've completed our balance sheet so see you in the next section